Wrexham's promotion charge continues to gather momentum. Phil Parkinson, who started his managerial career with Colchester, sees Wrexham start the day second in the table, looking to extend their unbeaten run at home to 10 league matches. Meanwhile, Colchester has slipped to 22nd in League Two after a run of four straight league defeats. Nicely worked here by Wrexham to Mendy. And Mendy can't find a way beyond Greenwich, and it will be a throw. And you know what to expect here. Forward comes Ben Toza. A quick practice run before the main event. Toza in towards the edge of the six-yard box, looking for the flick on. It will come through here to Elliot Lee. Well, it was almost inevitable as it dropped to the player who's been in such superb form for Wrexham this season. On to 12 now in the league for the season. And they've got used to seeing those here. Eight of those goals have come at home. Into the corner it goes, Wrexham leads. Nice turn by Egbo. Egbo on his way, making a good run. Forcing the pass wide as Colchester come forward here, looking to find a route back into the game. And this might be their moment. Big chance well held by goalkeeper Howard. Fevrier with the driving run, cutting field brilliantly here, managed to step away from O'Connor. A test for the goalkeeper, and it's one that Howard stands up to. Well, it very nearly comes off for Colchester, not quite the first time. The battle on in midfield to get there, the starting challenge here. And it's a straight red card for Evans, who was already on a yellow. But the referee deeming this serious enough to be a straight red card. And off he goes. Evans leaving the game early. Wrexham may be ahead here, but they might have a challenge on their hands now. That's quite the header initially that Egbo was looking for. Gets relatively lucky. And it's passed away as far as Matt Jay. Slides it wide to Fevrier. Fevrier again providing the threat here on the right-hand side. This time across. Good-looking ball. McGeehan's header doesn't find a way through. Still pushing here, Colchester. They get the shot away and they're not too far from finding the equaliser. Noah Chilvers working the angle here, unable to test Howard, though. Another long Wrexham throw in. And it was turned away as far as the edge of the penalty area. And the chance that came through the crowd certainly had Owen Goodman launching himself down towards that bottom corner. Luckily for Colchester, the chance is flash wide. We are back underway then for the second half. And 10-man Wrexham will look to keep hold of their lead here as they look to keep pushing at the top end of the table. Now giving the ball away and giving Colchester the chance to attack, but it's very quickly dealt with. And brilliantly worked, the pass over the top. And they're in on goal here. It's Mullin for Wrexham trying to work the opportunity. Mullin goes for goal. Good save, Goodman. Well, as it drops into the path of Paul Mullin, 
a player that Wrexham have relied on time and time again. You wondered if goal two was coming. The effort straight down the throat of Goodman. Toza launching in. Goodman came to claim. And he'll be fairly happy there, you would imagine, that the defence came to the rescue. Moment of indecision here from the goalkeeper. It's one that Wrexham can't take advantage of, though. <laughs> Arthur Reid winning the corner. And racing across to take this one quickly. In towards Egbo it goes. Reid gets it back. Delivers in towards the front post. Inviting cross. Scrambled away. Just about by the Wrexham defence. And Mullin can turn and peel away. That's good centre-forward play here by Paul Mullin. Waits for support. And support eventually arrives here in the shape of Mendy. Mendy making the run. And playing the pass too. And it's worked wide by Elliot Lee, who's found McLean. McLean delivers. And the body shape of the defender, Mitchell, is all wrong, and he's turned into the back of his own net. Ten-man Wrexham, given something of a gift here. McLean delivers. Didn't look to be anyone around. Mitchell, though, touching beyond his own goalkeeper. No chance of reaching that one. Stumble by Egbo. And the referee here is happy for play to continue despite the challenge. McGeehan's pass. Colchester pushing and winning a corner. Now forward comes Fevrier, who will be the one to take this one by the looks of things, although Reed might have other ideas. It will be Arthur Reed. With his arm aloft. Looking to deliver in to make an impact here for Col Colchester United. There is still time. He delivers. Back of the area is where the ball is sent. And what a let off that is for Mark Howard, the goalkeeper. For the second time of asking, able to make the gather. Fevrier <laughs> is the outlet here. On the right-hand side, his pass back towards Egbo. Surprising not to see a bit more tempo from Colchester United here. Lifted in, there's the header. Pushed away only as far as February. Well, it's late. Is it too late? 89 minutes on the clock, Colchester pull one back here. Wrexham 2, Colchester 1. February able to get there after the initial save by Howard. And he tucked it right into that far corner. Fevrier's ball, deep, searching. And they drop here for a chance. That's rather ambitious, though, and it goes over the top for Miandolo. Well, Wrexham rather fortuitous, but they do hold on. And they make it 10 league games unbeaten in League Two. Despite losing George Evans, the red card didn't hurt them too much. Elliot Lee with one and an own goal. Wrexham two, Colchester one. 